Like all animals, our dogs produce a whole range of enzymes within their bodies, but the most important of these, of course, are those that are found in the gut or digestive enzymes, which have a significant impact on the health of the gut and the whole body. Now in today's short video, let's take a look at the role of enzymes, especially for dogs that are on a commercial or kibble-based diet, and how this can negatively impact their health if they don't get sufficient enzymes. So stay tuned to learn more. Hi there, it's Lyndall Pinchin, canine naturopath from Canine Vitality. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Happy Healthy Dogs. I appreciate you being here. If you're new, feel free to subscribe and click on that little bell for notification on all my weekly videos. If you're a regular, welcome back. Thank you for the support. I do love having you here and I hope you enjoy, today, enjoy today's video. Now, digestive enzymes are proteins that are produced by various glands and organs in the, in the body including the salivary glands, the stomach, the pancreas, and the small intestine. Now, these enzymes play a crucial role in breaking down food into smaller absorbable pieces that can be utilized by the body. Now, digestive enzymes mainly come from your dog's pancreas. As food travels through your dog's small intestine, the pancreas actually releases these digestive enzymes into the gut, and that's when they can start their role of breaking down the various food components uh, as your dog, so your dog's body can absorb them. Now, digestive enzymes uh, really are used for hundreds of different metabolic processes all throughout the body, not only in the gut. And without these, uh, nutrients that will help to break down foods, your dog will become malnourished over time, which can really lead to a whole range of diseases and problems. There are three main digestive enzymes that help in the breakdown of foods. So there's amylase for your dogs uh, for breaking down starches and carbohydrates like vegetables, lipase for fat breakdown and protease to help break down those proteins into amino acids. Now, in addition to all this, enzymes play a whole range of other roles, including supporting your dog's immune system, reducing inflammation, balancing those hormones, repair and growth of tissue, and detoxification. So if our dogs make their own enzymes, isn't this sufficient, you ask? Well, the short answer here is no. Now, there are certainly some health conditions such as EPI that do require immediate addition of supplement, uh, digestive enzyme supplements. But what about the average dog out there with no specific health problems at this point in time? Well, every dog has their own special but limited supply of digestive enzymes, and these work together with the enzymes that are naturally occurring in fresh foods that your dog eats. Basically, think of it like teamwork. If your dog, however, is eating a kibble diet or even a fully cooked diet, um, these and other processed foods lack those digestive enzymes. And this, of course, is due to the fact that all these types of products are heat treated, which destroys these vital enzymes. Now, as I said, this also occurs with cooked food because as we cook the foods, those enzymes are also depleted. So if your dog's been on a long-term diet of kibble or other commercial foods, they will be deficient in these life-giving enzymes. Now, this is going to place stress on the body because they can only call on their um, own enzymes reserves, reserves for a certain amount of time. This requires them to produce all the necessary enzymes at every meal that your dog eats, which will quickly use up that reserve. Now, this not only places stress on the gut, of course, but as a whole, this can lead to stress imbalance and dysfunction throughout the rest of the body over time. So the older your dog gets, the more stress their body is going to be placed under as these enzyme levels have essentially run out and the quicker they age. In fact, it has been found that a lack of enzymes can actually cause organs like your dog's brain to shrink. Not only does the wrong type of food deplete enzyme levels, but other factors such as fluoride in water, medications, chemicals and vaccines, along with sim simply aging, deplete the enzyme level. Now, natural whole foods, of course, contain their own level of naturally occurring enzymes, which help take this burden off your dog's pancreas and their digestive system in general. But this, of course, is only if your dog is eating these fresh foods. Now, some of the signs that your dog might have low enzyme levels include constipation or diarrhea, smelly wind, acid reflux and belching, undigested food in the stool, and tummy rumbles and bloating. 
Now this is especially those senior dogs and this can occur even when your dog is on a raw diet, although this is going to be much less apparent. Now without these important enzymes, your dog will age more quickly and many health issues can potentially start to become a problem. So if your dog has been on this long-term kibble or processed food diet, what should you do? Ideally, the best way to support your dog, especially as they age, is to transition them onto a more natural raw diet that is enzyme rich. Being raw, all those enzymes stay intact. And if this is not possible, you can at least start adding in a whole food supplement such as a super green supplement, which can certainly add some of those natural occurring enzymes into the gut. In addition, starting adding in a digestive enzyme supplement that contains those three enzymes that we mentioned earlier, the amylase, protease, and lipase, along with bromelain and papain, cellulase and invitase, this will help, along with a good quality probiotic, as this is gonna make those enzymes actually work more efficiently in the gut. Now these can be added in daily into your dog's food. And if you're looking to transition to a raw diet, both enzymes and probiotics are fantastic to help this transition process, particularly when you've got that older dog. Now, keeping your dog's enzyme levels optimal really will not only support their gut health, but really help a whole range of other things. As I said, joint health, skin and coat health, general immune function, hormone balance, oral health, etc. It's going to make sense to add these into the diet along with avoiding those kibble-based diets as much as possible. And if you have a dog that's been on kibble for a long time, I would love to hear you um, comment about this below. Have you noticed anything with your dog? Have you, has your dog got digestive issues? Have you tried to transition to a raw diet? Have you used supplements? I'd love to hear your story. So please comment below. And of course, if you've got any questions around this, feel free to reach out to me. All my contact details are below. Well, guys, I hope this helps in some way for your dog at the moment, whether they're on a kibble diet, a cooked diet, or even a raw diet, those enzymes are potentially very helpful for all dogs. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, please give it a thumbs up and a share and we can get more content out on video. I hope you're having a great day. Poppy's just come back from the beach, so she's right beside me here snoring her head off as usual. Uh, anyway, wherever you are in the world, guys, have a great day. I will talk to you very soon in our next video. Bye for now.